Hi everybody, it's Charlotte here from Eggly and Creations and today I wanted to show you how I made some of my silicone molds. So to begin, first I'm going to show you everything that I used. I have some silicone here. I have some from Sophie and Toffee as well as some from um, Amazon that I purchased. Um, you do also need some pieces that you plan to mold in addition to um, something, something to case it. I used here some cookie cutters, but you can also just find a plastic container and cut it um, so that there is a hole. Previously, I used an old cottage cheese container. You do also need something to stick it to. Um, what I used in this video is contact paper. And in addition, you do also need a hot glue gun and some hot glue. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that all of the pieces that you plan to mold, um, in this case, it's acrylic pieces that I got cut. Um, they all come with a protective layer on that. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you take that layer off. Um, I did also learn that you do want to take it off even if that's not the one that's not the side that you are molding because it creates uh, it makes it so it sticks better to the bottom. I'm using contact paper and I just uh, I'm putting it all on a cookie sheet just so it's easier to transport and so it is all level. And then I already had everything pre-arranged. So you're going to want to um, kind of think of the shapes um, and where is the best place to put them. Um, definitely have your layouts pre-designed before you go and, and then make sure with the contact paper it is not quite as sticky as the clear packing tape or just any plastic tape in general um, so you are going to want to push down on it or actually glue it down so that it creates a full seal and you'll see why I learned how you definitely had to do this um, with the packing tape you don't quite have to worry as much with that um, but you do get some like packing lines or like little warp areas. I actually forgot, I forgot that you had to use the hot glue to make sure that it sticks. I would definitely suggest doing the hot glue before you put your pieces in just so that it's easier and you're not having to be as hesitant with it. the silicone make sure you stir each portion of it before you mix it together and definitely read the directions because every silicone is a little different same with resin and all of those sort of things each one has different tendencies um, so mix each part before you mix it together so that you don't have any clumps or lumps and whatever um, and then when you mix them make sure you actually almost mix more than um, like mix it longer than you expect because for me I'm used to resin where it gets clear and then you stop but for this there's not really any way for you to tell that it's fully incorporated um, you will just find out tomorrow when it is fully cured ready and then you're just going to pour it over your uh, pieces and then you always want to make sure that you have a good amount of like covering all of your pieces to avoid anything breaking 
And then what I do is I make sure that I uh, actually let my silicone sit in the fridge for about an hour or just even like 20 minutes um, but it just makes sure that everything that there's less bubbles and then you're going to once you take that out of the fridge just let it sit overnight I definitely suggest letting it sit overnight then just doing a couple of hours it does yield a much better result take off the contact paper and undo it and see the beautiful molds that you created. Definitely here in my uh, thicker pieces, I did not have as much of a connection with the contact paper. It didn't stick quite as well, which I wasn't used to because this was the first time I tried contact paper. Um, so I had some overspill. You definitely want to only use an exacto knife before you take your pieces out otherwise if you do it afterwards you're actually going to rip the silicone and not have quite as beautiful of a mold i learned that the hard way um, once the pieces come out and you still feel like you need to clean up some of the sides get a nice small pair of scissors or what i actually like to use is a um, sharp nail clip scissors or cuticle scissors one of those and it really does since it's smaller you can get into the areas as much better but since you're snipping it it creates a much better line And then the last thing I did in this video is I just did a quick uh, resin pour with them. In this one I did a rainbow bit just to kind of show you the type of things you can make with your molds that you made. I really enjoyed this one. Um, the Sophie and Toffee clear one was still a bit sticky even after I properly measured everything so I'm not quite as much of a I, I wouldn't recommend that much as much as the smooth on silicone that I have um, and yeah that's everything I hope you enjoyed also if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe I will be going through and uh, doing a lot of tutorial videos and lots of things I have learned from all of my fun resin adventures and miscellaneous craft things. So don't forget to hit subscribe